A new decision at the state level keeps the Killingly Board of Education in the hot seat. The State Department of Education has recommended moving forward with a hearing next month about how well the Board of Head is uh, serving students, especially when it comes to their mental health. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Luke Hydash breaks down what this means for students and parents. And there's just not enough resources in Killingly High School for mental health. Sky Ann Kettle is a senior at Killingly High School, upset with the amount of resources available when it comes to mental health. Most people, they're expecting these things to happen and they just never really do. It's just a bunch of empty promises. Over the summer, community health resources, better known as CHR, moved into Killingly High and intermediate schools. The district says on September 11th, counselors started seeing students. So far, it says about 16 students have already been given counseling and another 16 are in intake. Parents like Christine Rosati Randall say they want more. To this day, I have not received anything regarding CHR. While the district implements these new services, the State Department of Education has decided to move forward with an inquiry into the Killingly Board of Education. I wish it had happened sooner, but I'm glad it's happening now. A big sticking point of the inquiry? Mental health services. In filings last week, CSDE says there is nothing to suggest the Killingly Board had experienced an epiphanic shift in its recent history of denial of and indifference to student mental health needs. This has just gone on way too long. Whether the inquiry will happen has been up in the air during a back and forth of court filings. Last week, CSDE recommended moving forward with a hearing next month. A hearing panel will review evidence and hear testimony as to the efficacy of the Killingly BOE. Acknowledge the, the problem, identify the need, and get these services in for our students. That hearing is scheduled for October 11th. In Killingly, Luke Hydash, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Well, it's no secret that raising a child is expensive, but now a new study is giving us a glimpse at exactly how much it costs here in Connecticut. The new study from Lending Tree found that on average, parents are spending $240,000 to raise a single child. That includes costs like child care, rent, and of course, food. The study found Connecticut is the seventh most expensive state to raise a child. Happening